Okay, I have a lot of quick tips for finding things in Google Drive that I want to share with you, and I have to hit under the 10 minute mark, so I may talk a little bit fast. Real quick, early adopters of Google Drive may still refer to it as Google Documents because that was the original name when it was launched by Google. So if you hear someone refer to it as Google Docs, just know that that's probably a person who's been working with it for a really long time, and it essentially is one and the same. So what I'm going to show you throughout this video is some quick tips on how you can easily organize and find documents that either you've created yourself or that someone else has created and shared with you. So you notice here I'm on my drive. Everything shows up nice and tidy. And we have some folders that have, so I've created everything as a folder, and I have some folders that have subfolders underneath of them. For example, my client files folder has a bunch of individual file folders within the master folder, one folder for each client. And so visually you can tell what is shared with someone else. So for example, this folder is shared. So it actually has the word shared where you don't see it on other folders. And then also notice how the actual folder icon shows differently. It's not the solid color. That's another visual indication that this folder is shared with at least one other person. So often you'll have a lot of documents that are shared with you and they won't by default show on this main home screen so sometimes it can be a little confusing to figure out well what the heck I know so and so shared a file with me where's the file at? All those files will show up under your shared with me option and I'm not going to click in some areas um, throughout this video just because some file names will have client names and I don't want to inadvertently disclose information that shouldn't be disclosed in the video. So just suffice to say, if you click here under Shared With Me, you will find a bunch of files that have been shared with you over the course of time. Now what you can do once you're there is you can take any file that's been shared with you and you can move it into any file that you've created for yourself on the My Drive area. Moving a file is so incredibly easy. Let's say down here, for example, see where it says Test Document Number 2. Just click the little box to the left of the file name. And you notice when I did that, up here at the top, a couple options show up. This icon is Move To. So if you click this icon, Here's a list of everywhere you can move to. This little triangular shape to the left of some of these folders indicate their subfolders that live underneath of the main folder. So you could drill down to actually save or move rather this document from my drive or under shared with me area to a specific subfolder within a master folder. So in this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and select personal and home see how the check mark appeared here this just a visual indication that this is the selection I made to move that document to now you notice down here at the bottom test document number two has disappeared and that's because it is now under my personal and home folder where I told it to go live <coughs> another thing you can do that'll make things easier to find if you have documents that you access over and over and over again Consider starring them because anything that's starred has its own little separate easy to find area. You can even star entire folders. For example, you'll notice I have a star here next to VAF class. And if I click within that folder, I've also select starred this particular document, which means this document as well as this folder actually will show up under the starred area if I went there. Um, not so much organization, more just a pretty thing. You can change the color on any folder you have from the default gray. It's super easy. Just click on what you want, you know, which folder you want to change. And so click, ah, um, down arrow and change color. And then you can change the color to whatever you'd like. And lastly, something super, super important, probably one of the most underutilized areas of Google Drive, in my opinion, is how we share documents. 
we can share individual documents one by one. One, that's kind of tedious. Number two, if at some point that person no longer works with us for whatever reason, it's difficult to remember exactly which documents you've shared with them. I don't know of a way where you can easily find who you've shared documents with. Now, if someone watching this video knows the answer to that and knows it's actually possible, please, please, please get in touch with me because I'd absolutely love to know how to do that. So I'm not saying it's not possible. I'm saying I'm not aware that it's possible. So what you can do instead of sharing individual folders, for example, this VAF class, I have 14 different documents within this folder and I could share these documents one by one by one. But what if I create more documents with the class I'm getting ready to launch in March of 2014? If I'm collaborating with someone on those documents, I have to remember, oh, grant access to so-and-so because this is a new document. So that's a really, really clunky way of doing it and a little bit more on the time-consuming side. What you can do instead is share an entire folder. And by default, once you share a folder, every single document that is currently in the folder, as well as any documents that may come in the future, are automatically shared with that person. So same manner as we just went through for changing the color of the folder, click the down arrow, go to share, go ahead and type in here whoever you'd like to share this file with, and then by default, as I mentioned, they have access to every single thing in the folder and you don't have to share one by one. And if you have to remove them at some point, it's a heck of a lot easier to remove them from a folder than to remove them from individual documents. And then last but not least, I notice I'm at the seven minute mark, so I'm gonna real quick go over um, a word of caution with documents you create in Google Docs. You can upload documents into Google Drive. And it's super easy, just click this upload button and bring whatever you'd like into Google Drive. So you notice here, they have the W icon, that's an indication this is a Word document, PDF document, Excel document. However, none of these documents can be edited when they're uploaded in that fashion. So this is an Excel document, I can't, I can't edit any of this information. And certainly no one can collaborate with me on it either. Same thing with the PDF and the Word document. These are not documents that can be edited. They're only documents that can be viewed. So that is one thing to be really cautious about when you're working with Google Drive. If you upload something, just know that it's view only. It is not collaborative. And then last but not least, one other handy thing you can do um, this spreadsheet type document here, Become a VA Resources. You can download Google Drive documents actually into Excel. So here I'm gonna go to File, Download As, Microsoft Excel. And if you look at the bottom of this Google document, you'll notice there's three different tabs. Each of those tabs will also download into the Excel version. And if you notice, this hyperlink here, all these hyperlinks are live where I could click them and actually go to that particular link. Once they download in Excel, they are no longer clickable links. Um, see, notice I can't click there and get this to open up to this Amazon page. Um, quick Excel tip to easily make these links hyperlinks again, all you have to do is have your cursor sitting where you need it to, hit F2, hit Enter, and you notice that, like magic, this is now a hyperlink and will take me to the Amazon page where this book is mentioned. Aha, look at that. So you can, of course, um, as I mentioned, download documents from Google Drive into Excel, Word, whatever the Mac versions are, I imagine as well, um, although I'm working on a PC, so I'm not 100% sure. So I hope that this quick video, okay, maybe not so quick at 10 minutes, but I hope this video has given you some ideas on how you can work within your Google Drive to make it a lot more user-friendly and have it in a manner that really works for you. Have a great day.